Hello and welcome everyone to beautiful Dixon Stadium as it'll be the St. Mary's Rattlers taking on Rogers State University. The Hillcats are in for a visit this weekend. St. Mary's coming into play today, a record of 9-2. and two. The Hillcats, meanwhile, a record of 6-1. and one. So two heavyweight teams matching up here in the new stadium over here at Dixon. I'm Joe Rodriguez, going to be bringing you all this action here today on and throughout the weekend. And I have to say, very exciting to see St. Mary's back on the back to play. Rene Solis, he'll be on the mound to start things off in this doubleheader. Solis, one of two Rattlers being nominated for the Tino Martinez Award, a nominee or kind of a heads up, I guess you could say, to look out for this player. Solis, he was also nominated for the award last season. His teammate. Matt McLean was also nominated. Both players already tremendous outings on the year. We'll probably see McLean in the second game of the doubleheader, but for now it's the ace, Renee Solis, who will be out on the rubber for the Rattlers. Solis coming into play, a 2-0 record, a tremendous 2.25 ERA, and 21 strikeouts in the 20 innings he's pinched. It'll be Alex Cochran to lead off for the Hillcats. Cochran hitting 286 on the year, and he looks at a called strike one. So let's go on ahead. Let's meet the rest of the Hillcats. Cochran, as you can see, leading off. He'll be playing center field. Chase Knott will be batting second, playing short. Johan Ochoa will be catching and batting third. Caleb Kohlmeyer will be playing first and batting fourth. Blake Gibson will be batting fifth and playing right field. Nick Malter will be batting sixth and playing second base. Ryan Hendricks will be playing third base and batting seventh. J.P. Seafried will be batting eighth and playing left field. And Logan Palmer, the designated hitter, will bat ninth. One and one the count. So Lee's from the windup. Here's the pitch. That one catches the outside corner for a called strike. So Lee is actually one of the few Rattler players that work for the windup. You'll see a good majority of them just preferring to work from the stretch at all times. As that one's fouled away, one and two. St. Mary's actually dropped in the national rankings after this last uh, rating. They're number 19 in the nation now, but still number two in the, se in the Southern Division. As that one's hit over to Solis and ground out to first will be the first one retired. However, in another poll, the St. Mary's baseball team ranked number seventh overall. That'd be the NCAA Division II ranking. First pitch, call to strike off speed. Very nice from Solis there. So he's uh, assortment of pitches at his command. Slider, change up, curve up, curveball, fastball kind of pitcher. One and one the count. And that one's just off the rubber as well. Two and one. Chase Knott, 350 hitter on the year. 6 for 20 to be more precise. 2 and 2. Make that 7 for 20. He scored 6 runs so far on the year. That's tops on this Hillcat team. And that one fouled back and we'll do 2 and 2 once again. Speaking of ranked teams, St. Mary's softball team was also ranked in a recent poll. They're in action right now as well. They'll have a doubleheader today. And they're playing the St. Mary's Invitational right now over at the new softball field and the intramural field. Second time this year already that a tournament's been hosted on the Rattlers campus as this one's skied towards center. 
And the catch is made one-handed two away. Catcher, Johan Ochoa. And now Johan Ochoa will come to the plate. Ochoa out of Quebec, the sophomore for the Hillcats. 333 hitter on the year. He'll be handling the catching duties today. First one called a strike. Let's meet the Rattlers defense from left to right in the outfield. Jones, Adrian Garcia, and Orton as Orton will come on to make that play. And we'll meet yeah, the Rattler defense baby. next yeah. inning. As that'll do it for the top of the first. We're heading to the bottom. So you're watching Rattler Baseball on the Rattler Network. So much to celebrate in Division II. We're especially proud of our commitment to make a win. Division II student athletes have the 10 initiative to raise funds and help grant wishes of children with life threatening medical conditions. Dollars have been raised, and hundreds of children's wishes have been granted. We play hard, we work hard, and we support others in need. Why? It's simple. Because we care. And welcome back everyone as we're ready to get underway here to start the bottom of the first. Adrian Garcia will be at the plate as that one's called strike one. He'll be opposing Jesse Baird here today. Baird a 2.77 ERA on the year along with a 2-0 record for the Hillcats. That one's taken toward left center field. Let's see if it gets down, and it does. It's in the gap. Garcia over to second base, and he'll stay put with a leadoff double for St. Mary's. So Garcia, who has spent the majority of the year in the ninth nice spot, got a chance to move up to number one here today and produces a leadoff double for the Rattlers. Shortstop, Drake Roberts. Let's go on ahead and meet the rest of the Rattlers lineup. Adrian Garcia, as you know, led off, played center field. Drake Roberts now stepping into that second. He'll be the shortstop. Mario Maldonado, he'll be batting third and playing second base. Brooks Orton, the cleanup spot, playing right field. Omar Garcia, he'll be the designated hitter, batting fifth. Nathan Humple will bat sixth and play first base. Al Gonzalez will play third base and bat seventh. Keith Funk, the catcher, will bat eighth. And then Scott Jones, the left fielder, will round out the lineup for the Rattlers. Drake Roberts, 
378 hitter so far on the year. Six RBIs to go along with it. Called strike one. Roberts looking over to Coach Ermis over at third base. Garcia, a decent lead from second. That one's way high and out of the zone, one and one. Let's meet the Hillcats lineup, or defensively at least. Seafried, the left fielder. Cochran, the center fielder. Gibson, the right fielder. And then from left to right in the infield is Hendricks, Knott, Malter, and Kohlmeyer. That one's in the dirt for called ball two. Ochoa behind the plate. Two and one the count for Baird. Comes set. And this one's lifted into right center field. And the play will be made by Gibson. Tagging and going over to third is Garcia. He'll dive in there safely without a throw as it was cut off by the shortstop. So with only one away, the Rattlers have managed to put a runner 90 feet away from scoring. And now Mario Maldonado will come to the plate. Mario, a 325 hitter so far on the year. A couple of double five doubles I should say, a couple of homers and six RBIs. And it <laughs> looks like a wardrobe malfunction over at third base. Garcia, his belt ripped and uh, Coach Hermes will walk a new one out to him. Fortunate that he did. Garcia, he's a head first slider, so those pants would have slipped off the wrong way for him. Well, one away. And it looks like we're all ready to go. We'll see if Maldonado can add to his RBI count and if the Rattlers will strike first. Here's Baird. That one out of the zone in the dirt. Nice stop there behind the plate. It saved a run. 1 0. Brooks Orton waits on deck. Omar Garcia, if it should come to that, is in the hole. And that one's lifted high and foul down the right field line. 1 1. And Baird will get a new ball in play. Baird hunched over for his sign, right arm dangling. Maldonado shows bunt, but he pulls it back and it's out of the zone, two and one. Garcia was not running on the play, obviously. Wasn't your typical suicide squeeze. But the first baseman is playing rather deep, so if Maldonado were to lay one down that line, you have a good opportunity. He does lay it down. It's to the pitcher. He tries to shuffle it without using his hand, but is unsuccessful, so the Rattlers will go ahead 1-0. Maldonado stands at first base after giving St. Mary's the lead. So Brooks Orton will be at the plate. Orton, so far a 281 hitter. That first one out of the zone, a 1-0. One and zero, one away. As that one's thrown over, a check over on Mario. Why not a fielder's choice? I'd probably call it a fielder's choice. Yeah, he's 
Maldonado a decent lead over there at first and that one's punched right up through the middle for another base hit. So Orton will stand at first, Mario at second. Designated hitter Omar Garcia. And the Rattlers are still cooking a little bit here at home in the bottom of the first. Now here comes Omar Garcia. Omar a 353 hitter for St. Mary so far. Most of his work has come exclusively as a designated hitter. He's got a couple doubles, a triple on the year, go along with seven RBIs. And that first one scrapes the outside corner for a called strike one. Baird looking in long and hard for his sign. Him and Garcia come set. And this one now catches the inside corner, so he's up 0-2. And o-2 count with one away. Decent speed on the base pass for the Rattler. 0-2 is not a bad time to try to steal a pitch. So that one's chopped foul. reason being for 0-2 not being a bad time to try to steal a base is that you usually want to try to steal a bag on off-speed pitch. So 0-2 usually pitcher might throw one in the dirt in order to try to get the hitter to swing at it so it's not a bad pitch to try to, try to steal a bag on. But this one instead hit up toward the middle. The Hillcats will try to turn two and they do so. So that'll do it for the inning, but not before St. Mary's produces one run on two hits. They leave one on the bags on one air. Watching Rattler Baseball on the Rattler Network. Visit stopbullying.gov. And welcome back everyone to the top of the second inning. It'll be Colmeyer, Gibson, and Malter do up this inning for the Hillcats. 1-0 the count now to Colmeyer. Renee Solis back out there on the rubber. As the Rattlers have already striked for an early lead. And that one just out of the zone. 2-0. Well, we didn't get to do it last inning, so let's go on ahead and do it now. The St. Mary's defense from left to right in the outfield, Jones, Garcia, and Orton. And then from left to right across the diamond in the infield, we have Gonzalez, Roberts, Maldonado, and Humple. And then Keith Funk behind the plate. That one a called strike two and one. And that one just out of the zone, three and one.
And that one's off the plate as well, so ball four. So Gibson will now be coming to the plate, and Solis allows the leadoff walk. Solis, it's his seventh walk on the year. Something he's not really known for doing. And here comes Blake, Blake Gibson now. Gibson, a 400 hitter on the year. He's actually one of seven Hillcats so far on the year with over a 400 batting average, which is just absolutely ridiculous. Season's still young, though, for the Hillcats. They've only played seven games. But, of course, it will be a tough matchup for Solis and the Rattlers today. Another check over to first. 0-1 still the count. So Lise again sets, and here's the pitch. That one belt high, called strike. Good fastball there by Renee. So Lise again comes set and check back on over to first. Kohlmeyer on the year, not yet to attempt to steal a base, but Solis and St. Mary's never could be more careful. One and two. But to an extent, even if a player hasn't stolen a base on the year, it's up to the pitcher to make sure their lead doesn't get too large. A big or small lead is the type of thing that can make a huge difference when a player's trying to make it's a third base off of a single, the first to third play as they call it. And if you think about it, there's so many close bang bang plays over there at third that it's, it's worth checking over to first end. So at least looks like they're going to pick him off here. Oh, and the throw is thrown away. Humple errant throw over towards short. They had him in the rundown. As Solis with the great pickoff move. But Kohlmeyer will stand at second. So a lack of execution there by St. Mary's. After Solis had pretty much made the play. So it'll be a runner on second, none away. Hillcats a great opportunity here after Solis walked the first batter. 2-2 Two -two, the count for Gibson. He'll call time and step out. So Lee sets. Here's the pitch. And that one hit over to short. Roberts will take it, throw it to first for the out. But advancing over to third is Kohlmeyer. Second baseman, Nick Walter. Now here comes Nick Malter to the plate. Malter, a 500 batting average on the year. And it's two games that he's played. He's three for six with an RBI. And really, he doesn't have to do too much here. A sack fly would get the job done for the Hillcats. So that first pitch is in the dirt. Funk able to corral it. And it'll be 1-0. Malter, the senior from North Carolina. As he lifts this one into left field, but a bit too shallow. They're going to try to score him anyway. The throw to the plate by Orton, and the tag is applied by Funk. So the Hillcats not able to get the ball deep enough, and St. Mary's will end the inning on the unconventional double play. No runs, no hits, no errors. None left on base. You're watching Rattler Baseball on the Rattler Network.
If you drive buzzed, it could cost you around $10,000. You'll face major legal fees, major fines, and steep insurance penalties. You could lose everything. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. And welcome back, everyone. In the bottom of the second inning will be Humble, Gonzalez, and Funk do up for the Rattlers. As that first pitch by Baird is off the plate, one and zero. Nathan Humble drawing the start at first base today. A 400 hitter on the year so far, as he. Slices that one foul down the first base line, the third base line, I should say, one and one. Humple, he's started five games so far this year. He's played in eight. He has a total of three RBIs. And that for that pitch is out of the zone. It'll be two and one now. Humple also a 700 slugging percentage. So when he hits the ball, it's usually for extra bases, but it looks like he'll go on ahead, just take a leadoff single here to start the bottom of the second. Third baseman, Al Gonzalez. And now here comes Al Gonzalez to the plate. Gonzalez at 200 hitters so far on the year. Bit of a slump to start out the season. And he's showing bunt ho, but the ball squirts away. So Humple will stand at second with none away. Gonzalez, though, he started every game for St. Mary so far this year. He has three RBIs and a couple of doubles. Humple, he'll now lead from second. Want to know the count. And Gonzalez hits this one hard. Oh, and it's past the second baseman. So Humple will go around. He'll try to score, and the throw is cut off. And it'll be 2-0 for the Rattlers. A ball absolutely smashed by Gonzalez. Keith now here comes Keith Funk to the plate. So still none away. They're going to call that one an air by the second baseman. Funk now looking to lay down the bunt and he pops it up. And a foul. Jones waits on deck. He's batting ninth today. We'll see if Funk is still looking to lay down the bunt. And quick check over to Gonzalez on first, who dives back safely. Funk, he's hitting 269 on the year with eight RBIs. And this bunt's laid down nicely to the pitcher. Throw to first in time, but St. Mary's now with a runner in scoring position. Now here comes Scott Jones to the plate. Left fielder Scott Jones. And it's vital to your team's success to have guys closer to the bottom of the order who are willing and able to sacrifice like Funk just did. Your number eight hitter coming up to the plate. Now setting up 
potentially your number nine hitter. And the top of the order as this ball gets away. Gonzalez, a big turn at third, but he'll be staying put right there. And 1-0 and will be the count. Jones steps back into the box, Baird back onto the rubber. 1-0 and, and the infield now playing in for the Hillcats. That one off the plate, 2-0 now. And if you're Jones, you really just want to make Baird work here. And once you get something to hit, make sure you put it into play. And that one hits sharply over a third. Throw to first in time, and Jones is retired. And it'll be two away. And now here comes Adrian Garcia. Garcia, one for one today. He has a double. Scored one of the Rattlers' two runs. Baird, here's the pitch. And that one inside. Nice stop there by the catcher. So it came off his mid a bit funny. And time's been called. It looks like Baird and Knott will have a Brief conference over there on the mound. Maybe just some words of encouragement. One and zero, and that one off the plate. Two and zero now. Baird with the pitch, and 3-0 and now, as those last two have been wide and off the plate. Garcia, he's been a 316 hitter so far in the year, so Hillcats may be being careful with him. But Drake Roberts, who's waiting on deck, has also been a hot hitter. So that first one is dialed in for a called strike one. Looked like Garcia was taking the whole way. Three and one the count now. We'll see if he takes again. And he swings and misses, so it's now a full count. So Baird has battled back to make it a full count. Gonzalez leads from third, and Garcia will call timeout. Baird, he has his sign. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss and a big strikeout there for Baird and the Hillcats. And that'll do it for the inning. But not before St. Mary strikes once again. Two to nothing. They lead. We're heading to the top of the third. NFC, AFC, offensive linemen, defensive tackles, quarterbacks, and cornerbacks are all living united to ensure the academic success of millions of kids in our communities all the way to graduation day. But that won't happen without you. So take the pledge at unitedway.org. Make a difference in the life of a child. Suit up like your favorite NFL players and become a volunteer reader, tutor, or mentor with United Way.
And welcome back to the top of the third, inning about to get underway. As Hendricks showed bunt right there, but wasn't able to make the connection 0-1. Rene Solis still out there working the rubber for the Rattlers. Off speed out of the zone. One and one. And that one off the plate. Two and one. So Lisa, as I mentioned earlier, the second straight year, he's been on the Tino Martinez Award watch list. As that one's called a strike, two and two. Strangely enough, one of his biggest competitors will be Matt McClain, who we're most likely to see in the second game of this doubleheader. As that one swung through, and Solis has his first strikeout of the ballgame. Now Sifried will come up. So Lease, of course, a Heartland Conference first teamer for the past two seasons as well. And that first pitch, a call it strike to Sifried. Sifried, a 118 hitter so far on the year. This one's hit over to short. Roberts, the throw. And it pulled Humple off the bag. Humple, he tried to apply the tag, but no good there. And they're going to get the air on Drake. Now here comes Logan Palmer to the plate. Palmer, a 400 hitter on the year. He's only played in two games, though. He started one of them, drawing the start here today, of course. And that one's a called strike. Palmer, though, even though he's only had two starts, four RBIs on the year. That, that's, that gives him the top number on this Hillcat team. And it's called a strike number two. One away. So Lise with the pitch. Palmer watches it go by. One and two. So Lise comes set. Not much of a lead over there at first. And that one's fouled back. And we'll do one and two once again. Palmer, the designated hitter here today. And that one off his fist into right field, and it'll get down. It's mishandled by Orton, so moving over to third base is Sifried, and it'll be runners on the corners for the Hillcats. Center fielder, Alex Cochran. So Palmer with the first hit of the game for the Hillcats, and now it'll go up to the top of the order with Cochran. Cochran, he grounded out to Solis his first time up. Here's the pitch, and he shows bunt, and it'll be well fouled down the first baseline. So Renee will have to get himself out of this situation. A 2-0 lead to his name so far, but the Hillcats are pressing him. So Lee's comes set, 
and I'll check over to first. As I'm sure you can see, the wind blowing straight in today. Two flags out in center field blowing directly towards you. So any ball hit up in the air, it's unlikely that it would be helped at all by the wind today. And that bunt is laid down. Gonzalez, though, is going to let it go foul, and it'll be two strikes on Cochran. Good heads-up play there by the Rattler third baseman. Now, Cochran will be forced to swing away unless he wants to have the risk of fouling out. Not waits on deck. Here's Solis to the plate. And this one popped up down the right field line, and it'll be foul. And Brooks Horton will have to go and retrieve the ball as it went out onto the field. 0-2, still the count. Time called by Cochran at the plate. And he'll step back in. Here's Renee. Runner going to second. Funk he'll throw down there. Runner is coming home and Funk cuts down the second runner of the day at the plate. So uh, unconventional strike him out, throw him out to end the inning. St. Mary still unscathed. We're heading to the bottom of the third. So you're watching Rattler Baseball on the Rattler Network. We got the spirit, we're hot, we can't be stopped. We got the spirit, we're hot, we can't be stopped. We're going to beat them and bust them. The beat smallest them. moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Time. Call or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. And welcome back everyone in the bottom of the third inning. Drake Roberts will lead it off for the Rattlers. As he is called for going around on that bunt attempt. 0-1 oh, the count. It'll be Roberts, Maldonado, and Orton. 2-3-4 and four, due up for the Rattlers. As Baird deals in strike n number two. Here's the pitch. That one off the plate. One and two now. And so for the second straight inning, the Hillcats ended the inning by making it out on the base paths as Roberts will strike out. And that's the second straight strikeout for Baird. 
And now Mario Maldonado will come up. Maldonado is given the sacrifice his last time up. He also has an RBI. Baird winds and deals. And that first pitch out of the zone, 1-0. And here comes Baird once again. And that one's out of the zone, so it's one and one. Mario tops on this Rattler team in home runs. He has a couple. Including a shot to left field as that one's hit over towards short. Not with it. The throw to first in time. And Mario's retired for the second out. Right fielder, Brooks Orton. And now here comes Brooks Orton to the plate. Brooks a single his first time up. Here comes Baird from the windup. And that one out of the zone for ball one. Baird seems a bit more comfortable working from that windup. Here's the pitch. And that one out of the zone, 2 0. The windup, of course, used by pitchers to make sure you get yourself into a rhythm. You're able to use your entire body when pitching. But Orton putting his entire body into that one for a single. Designated hitter, Omar Garcia. And now here comes Omar Garcia to the plate. Omar's first time up, he grounded into that ending, ending double play. We'll see what he can do here. Baird working from the stretch, and I'll check over to first on on Orton, who's back safely. Baird checks over to first again, and back safely standing is Orton. Omar still looking for his first pitch. And he'll have to wait a bit longer. As Orton dives back safely to first. <coughs> Here's Barrett to the plate. Orton takes off on to second and he'll be in there with the stolen bag. So after three checks over to first base, Orton manages to snag the bag anyway and move himself into scoring position with two away. For Orton, that's his sixth stolen bag of the year and that'll get down. Orton, he's coming around third, being waved home to play at the plate and he's safe. Great slide by Orton, and the ball got away anyway. So the Rattlers able to tack on another run here in the third. First baseman, Nathan Uphall. So Garcia coming through big for the Rattlers with an RBI. And now here comes Nathan Humple to the plate. Garcia, his eighth RBI on the year. Bear to look to second. And the first one paints the inside corner to Humple. Humple, he's one for one today. He had a single. 
came around and scored a Rattler run. That made it 2 to nothing at the time. St. Mary's actually so far, they've had uh, three innings at bat. They scored one run each inning, so thus a 3-0 lead. Although I'm sure they'd gladly break that trend this inning in order to add another one on the board. That one out of the zone. And it's 1-1 one and one now. Omar, a slight lead from second. He'll extend it after the pitch. Oh, and that one hit Humple. So Humple will trot on down to first, and it'll be two Rattlers on board, and Al Gonzalez coming to the plate. Third baseman, Al Gonzalez. So here comes Al. Now he reached on air his first time up, so 0 for 1 on the day. And that one out of the zone, 1 and 0. Although that one air, he hit it hard on the screws, just misplayed by Malter, the second baseman. 1 and 0. Off speed, off the plate, 2 and 0 now. We'll see if Gonzalez can start to hit his stride here. Baird with the pitch, and Gonzalez fouls it straight back. Two and one. <laughs> Two away. Baird finally has his sign. Here's the pitch. And Gonzalez checks his swing. It'll be 3-1 and one now, and now he can be selective. Look for that fastball. Keith Funk, the catcher, waits on deck. We'll see how Baird handles Gonzalez. And a called strike. So full count, two away. The runners will be on the move with the pitch. Here it is. And ball four. So Gonzalez will be on board for the second time today. So the bases will be full of Rattlers. Here comes Keith Funk. To the, pitch, to the hitting box and the pitching coach out to the mound. And we'll see what they'll try to do with Funk here. Funk, sacrifice bunt his first time up. Remind you, Rattler fans, during this brief break, check us out on Twitter, at St. Mary's Rattlers. That's the same handle as our Instagram, of course, at St. Mary's Rattlers. If you want to check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash St. Mary's Rattlers. If you want archived broadcasts or interviews, youtube.com slash St. Mary's Rattlers. And, of course, for everything you could want to know about your Rattlers statistics, schedules, write-ups of the stories, go to rattlerathletics.com. Baird with the pitch to Funk. Catches the outside corner with the fastball for a called strike one. Keith, so far a 269 hitter. That one hit towards center field. And the play is made by Cochran. So the Rattlers leave the bases full, but not before they strike for one more run. St. Mary's, they have their fangs out so far. Three to nothing, the score. If 
so much to celebrate in Division II. We're especially proud of our commitment to make a wish. Division II student athletes led attention issues to raise funds and help grant wishes of children with life threatening medical conditions. Nearly $20 dollars have been raised, and hundreds of children's wishes have been granted. We play hard, we work hard, and we support others in need. Why? It's simple because we care. And welcome back, Rattler fans. Two, three, four, do up for the Hillcats here. It'll be not do up first, and he s shoots a bunt over to first. Gonzalez, the bare hand play, the throw to first in time. As Humple with the great stretch as well to get that first out of the inning. Good play there by Gonzalez and Humple. And now Johan Ochoa will come up. Ochoa, he popped out to right his first time up. First pitch by Solis, a called strike one. Remind you, today is a doubleheader, so we will be bringing you both of those games. The first game of action as Ochoa shoots another one over to Gonzalez. Throw in time, so two away, courtesy of Al. This first game, we remind you, will be only seven innings. First game of the doubleheader is only seven. The second game, we will be playing a full nine. And now Caleb Kohlmeyer will be coming up. Kohlmeyer, he walked his first time to the plate. So at least winds and deals. And a called strike. That one on the outer half of the plate. Good fastball there. And the second one slightly outside, so it's one and one. Solis looking to set the table for St. Mary's. As that one's hit high and deep into left field. Going back and making the play is Jones. And it's a one, two, three inning for St. Mary's. So that'll do it for the top of the fourth. We're heading to the bottom. You're watching Rattler Baseball on the Rattler Network. Every day, kids witness bullying. Why are you stabbing me with it? No, no. They want to help, no. but don't know how. Oh, you got Teach your kids how to be more than a bystander. Visit stopbullying.gov.
And welcome back everyone here at the bottom of the fourth inning. It'll be Scott Jones due up first. Jones, Garcia, then Roberts. Uh, first pitch off the plate, 1-0. Jones so far, he's 0 for 1 today. He grounded out to third. And that one called strike, so 1-1. Garcia waits on deck. He'll be followed by Roberts. And that's called strike two. And we'll see what Jones will do. One and two. And that one hit into right field. So leadoff single for Scott Jones. And now here comes Adrian Garcia to the plate. Jones adding to his already 321 batting average. Still looking for his first stolen bag though. He's 0 for 1. Here's Garcia, 1 for 2 on the day. And he's showing bunt. And it looked like he pulled that bunt back, so 1 0. Garcia and Jones, actually the only two Rattlers not to see the plate last inning. Obviously seeing it this inning. Baird looking in for a sign. And Garcia lays down the bunt. Baird will just toss it over to first for the routine out. And the sacrifice is successful for the Rattlers. Short sign, Drake Roberts. So Jones standing in scoring position. And the Rattlers' main hitter is about to come to the plate. Here comes Drake Roberts. Drake 0 for 2 on the day. And if you've taken a look at his batting average so far this season, that means he's due for a, a base hit. <laughs> and he swings at the first one off the end of the bat. A harmless fly ball over to short, handled by not so two Rattlers away now. Second baseman, Mario Maldonado. And now here comes Mario. Mario, he's 0 for 1. Grounded out to short his last time up. We'll see if he can help the Rattlers capitalize on the leadoff single. Here's the pitch. And that one above the belt, so 1-0. Mario, six RBIs on the year. That has him tied for third. That one paints the inside corner for a called strike one. Orton waits on deck. Bear to look over to second. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Big cut there by Maldonado. One and two. I think Mario was looking for the heat and got it, but Bear just put it by him. One and two. Two away. Here's the pitch. Off speed and Mario's caught looking. Great pitch by Baird to retire the sides. No run, one hit, one left on base. We're heading to the top of the fifth. You're watching Rattler Baseball on the Rattler Network. If you drive buzzed, it could cost you around $10,000. You'll face major legal fees, major fines, and steep insurance penalties. You could lose everything. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving.
And welcome back everyone. Top of the fifth about to get underway. The Rattlers lead it three to nothing. Renee Solis still out there on the rubber for the Rattlers. Here's Gibson to the plate. First pitch in the dirt and out of the zone. So wanna know. Gibson, he grounded out to short his first time up. It'll be Gibson, Malter, and Hendridge do up this inning. So that one's fouled away. One and one now the count. Beautiful day for baseball here out at Dixon Stadium. The sun's out. There's a nice breeze. A couple clouds in the area as well. As that one paints the outside corner one and two. Rattler fans, we encourage you. Come out. Check out the new ballpark. Check out the environment. And of course your nationally ranked Rattler baseball team. Very exciting team to watch as that one's hit over. Funk will take the field. The throw to first is in time and Gibson is retired. Saw Solis. He could have fielded that ball but instead Funk called for it. Solis, it would have been a difficult play for him. He would have had to have spun around and made the throw but a simpler play for Funk because he was already going that way anyways. Well, here comes Malter now. And ball one right there. Malter, he popped out to right field to end the second inning his last time up. And that one shot over to second. Maldonado, a bit of a bobble, but able to make the play nonetheless. So two away. And on that Malter fly ball, actually, was when Kohlmeyer tried to tag up to score a run, and the Rattlers cut him down at the plate. Two times already today where the Hillcats have been called out on the bases while trying to score at home. As that one is a bit low, 1-0. Here's Hendricks. He hits that one over to Roberts. Drake the throw to first. Oh, and it pulls him off the bag. So safe at first is Hendricks. And Drake, two uncharacteristic errors, a couple of errant throws. So he's struggling out there at short. Left fielder, JP Seafried. And now here comes Seafried to the plate. So two away. Two airs on the Rattlers. Both of them on Roberts. So Lee with the pitch. And a called strike one. Seafried reached on the other Drake Roberts air. As that one's chopped foul down the third base side. Seafried, though, was caught trying to steal home. That was after St. Mary's had thrown down to second. Is that one in front of Funk trying to take second? The throw, not in time. So Hendricks will be on second base. And looks as if they're going to give Solis the wild pitch right there. So one and two. There's good effort by Funk. He knocked it down. Almost got the throw down there in time. But it bounced just a bit too far in front of him. And that'll be swinging strike three. Funk will fire down to complete the strikeout. And that'll do it for the inning. It ends on Solis's third strikeout of the day. The Rattlers lead three to nothing. NFC, AFC, offensive linemen, defensive tackles, quarterbacks, and cornerbacks are all living united to ensure the academic success of millions of kids in our communities all the way to graduation day. 
But that won't happen without you. So take the pledge at unitedway.org. Make a difference in the life of a child. Suit up like your favorite NFL players and become a volunteer reader, tutor, or mentor with United Way. And welcome back, everyone. The bottom of the fifth inning about to get underway for the Rattlers. It'll be Orton, Garcia, and Humple due up this inning for St. Mary's. Remind you, Rattler fans, the St. Mary's Invitational is underway. The women's softball team is about to leap into action. You can catch that over on Rattler Network 2. So if you're looking for softball, that's where it is. There should be a link somewhere above the video where you can click. And, of course, we encourage you open up two tabs, watch both of your Rattlers in action. As Omar, as Brooks Orton is in action, he's on his horse, heading toward third base. He's going to slide in, and he's got the triple to lead off the inning. So, Brooks Orton with the leadoff triple for the Rattlers. And now here comes Omar Garcia to the plate. Designated hitter, Orton. Garcia. He's been hot today. Three hits now to his name. And here comes Garcia. Garcia, he's one for two. Had an RBI single his last time up. The infield playing in for the Hillcats. Here's the pitch. And that one just barely catches the outside corner for a called strike one. Baird with the pitch. That one out of the zone, one and one. Omar Garcia. Man, that one a shot. Right into center field. Garcia is second RBI of the day. And the Rattlers now with a four to nothing lead. Wow, that one was just smoked into center. First base by Nathan Humple. Now here comes Humple to the plate. And it looks like it'll be a pinch runner over at first for the Rattlers. Kenny Corona now coming in to run for Garcia. Garcia, he'll exit with a couple of RBIs. So Corona, very good speed down there at first. And they'll check over on him. Diving back safely is Corona. Corona, no stolen bags though over there at first base. He's 0 for 1 on the year. Hops out to a nice lead and a called strike there on Humple. Humple so far, he's one for one. He's singled to lead off the second, came around and scored a run. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. And Humple on top of that one, but out of play. So he'll be down 0-2. Corona, good lead over there at first. And Humple 
for the second time today is drilled by a pitch. So a tough day at the plate, but make my day. A tough day at the plate for Humple, but yeah, you're on base three times, so it's well worth it for St. Mary's. And now here comes Al Gonzalez. Gonzalez 0 for 1 today. He walked his last time up. Corona leads from second, Humpel from first. Still none out for the Rattlers here in the bottom of the fifth. And Gonzalez will lay down a bunt, but it's fouled down the third baseline. And you can see he's not happy with himself there, but another opportunity upcoming. And this bunting philosophy for St. Mary's, I mean, you're up four to nothing. So the worst thing that could happen to you right now is Roger State ties it with one swing of the bat. But if you come out and you watch this Rattler team play, this is really their style. They squeeze out every run that they can. As that one off-speed pitch, and it's beautiful by Baird as it comes back and gets the plate. So 0-2. Oh so Al now down in a hole. And I'll have to work in order to get back in this at bat. Here's Baird. And that one hit very high but very foul. And it's caught by the third baseman, Hendricks. So one away. Catcher Keith Funk. Now here comes Keith Funk. Funk 0 for 1. He popped out to center his last time up. That was to end the bottom of the third. He also has a sacrifice bunt. And we'll see what he can do with Corona in scoring position and Humple at first. That one a called strike to Funk on the inside corner. Jones waits on deck. Garcia's in the hole. Baird comes set. Here's the pitch. And it gets by. Corona. Big turn at third, but he'll now shuffle on back as both Rattlers move up into scoring position. One and one the count for Funk. Baird, ball in hand, looking in for his sign. He'll now get his grip. The infield playing in for the Hillcats. That one shot over to third. Bobbling it over at third. Corona dives back to the bag and safe. Hendricks, his eyes on Corona instead of being on the ball. And Corona may have just bought the Rattlers an extra base runner on that risky base running. Left fielder, Scott Jones. Now here comes Scott Jones to the plate. They're going to call it an error on the third baseman. Jones so far, he's one for two today. He had that single the last time he's up. And now he's batting with the bases full of Rattlers. First pitch off the plate, 1-0. Oh. That's St. Mary's is looking to add to their already 4-0 advantage. Baird with the pitch. And that one off the plate as well. So it's 2-0. And Jones can now be selective. I'm sure Baird will try his hardest to throw a strike here. The last thing he wants to do is fall behind 3-0 at the base is full. And that one above the belt, and he'll do just that. 3-0 now. We'll see if Jones will take here. 
I'd be surprised to see him not I'd be surprised to see him take the bat off his shoulder and a called strike three and one three and one the count one away we'll see if Jones can play the Rattlers inside and he'll draw the walk and do just that So now the advantage five to nothing for St. Mary's. Jones earning the RBI off the walk there. And once again, it'll be the bases full of Rattlers, but this time it'll be the top of the order now. Here comes Adrian Garcia to the plate. And making the slow walk out to the rubber is Ron Bradley and it looks like there will be a new pitcher coming in for the Hillcats. We'll tell you all about him when we come back. Rattlers lead at 5 to nothing in the bottom of the 5th. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. And welcome back everyone. The new pitcher, Kyle Deaton for the Hillcats. Deaton so far on the year, he's made one appearance. In that one appearance, he pitched two innings, allowed a couple of hits, had a strikeout and a walk as well. And so now it'll be up to Deaton to deal with the Rattlers. St. Mary's, the base is still full. The top of the order now coming up as it's Adrian Garcia to the plate. And still only one away for Deaton and the Hillcats. Deaton, the left-hander. Working from the stretch, here's the pitch. And Garcia looks at a ball low. Meanwhile, on the other part of the parks at St. Mary's, Women's softball team leading their game by a score of five to nothing. And that pitch off the plate, two and zero. So both Rattler ball clubs leading so far five to nil. <laughs> Deaton coming set once again. And that pitch off the plate and Adrian will now be up 3 and 0. Oh. So we'll see how Garcia approaches this at bat. So far today he's 1 for 2 with a double. And that one a called strike, just barely catching the corner of the plate. Garcia, he also struck out, had a sacrifice bunt as well. So full game for the leadoff man of the Rattlers. Here's the pitch. And ball four above the belt. And St. Mary's will plate another run via the walk. Now here comes Drake Roberts to the plate. And you know Drake would love to atone for the couple of RBIs he's committed to today. 
He's had a tough time at the plate as well. He's 0 for 3. That first pitch is out of the zone, 1 and 0. Roberts, he hit a little blooper to the shortstop last inning. And that one gets away. And so coming in to score, standing up is Funk. Jones and Garcia will advance to second and third as well. So St. Mary's starting to blow this one open. It's seven to nothing. So Drake Roberts, he's up two and zero in the count. It's seven to nothing here in the bottom of the fifth. Here's the pitch. And a called strike. So two and one now to Roberts. And if you're Deaton, that's a much needed strike. Infield playing in for the Hillcats. And that one off the plate. Three and one. Three and one. And Roberts shoots this one, and fair. It'll go into the corner at right field. Both runs will score easily. Roberts heading on his way to third. St. Mary's looking for the second triple of the inning, and they'll have it. So Roberts not only plating a couple more Rattler runs, but putting himself on third base as well. The RBI triple for Drake. Second baseman, Mario Maldonado. So still only one away. And now Mario Maldonado will step to the plate. Mario actually will be the last Rattler batter to hit this inning. And that St. Mary's has now hit a round, I should say. And so it looks like another change coming in for the Hillcats. And we'll continue the bottom of this fifth inning when we return. You're watching Rattler Baseball on the Rattler Network. We have so much to celebrate in Division II, but we're especially proud of our commitment to make a win. Division II student athletes have the 10 initiative to raise funds and help grant wishes of children with life threatening medical conditions. Million dollars have been raised. Hundreds of children wishes have been Play hard, we work hard, and we support others in need. Why? It's simple. Because we care. And welcome back everyone. It'll be Jordan Keith, the new pitcher for the Hillcats. A 13.5, yes that's right, 13.5 ERA for him on the year. His number's a little inflated because it's just the start of the year, but in two appearances he's pitched two-thirds of an inning. He's allowed one run on one hit. He's also walked someone, so we'll see if Jordan is the answer for the Hillcats as the first pitch taken by Maldonado foul down the left field line 0-1 the count Roberts leads from third as he just had that bases clearing triple the infield still playing in for the Hillcats they'll look to attempt to cut down the runner at the plate Nine to nothing, the Rattlers lead. Submarine pitch popped up and just over our heads. 0 oh 2 now, the count for Mario.
Mario steps back in. So he'll have to battle his way back into the abet. Jordan Keith, a sidearm pitcher, bit of a submariner, as that one's hit high into the air, but nowhere close to out of the outfield, and it's caught in foul ground by Hendricks. Two away now for the Rattlers. Right fielder Brooks Orton. Now here comes Brooks Orton. Brooks led off this inning with a triple. He's now three for three today. He's on fire. Here's the pitch. That one off the plate as it tails away. One to know. Orton, he's also scored a couple of runs. He has a stolen bag as well. As that one once again tails away, and it's 2 0 now. Here's the pitch. Orton, he'll check his swing, but a called strike anyway. It's 2 1. As it looks as if Keith has found his delivery. Here's the pitch. And that one, oh, good stop there by Ochoa, saving another run. And it's now 3 to 1. Orton, he's a double and a homer away from the cycle if you want to look at it that way. But this one hit a mile high. Settling underneath it is not, and he'll retain it for the third out of the inning, but not before St. Mary's tax on six more runs here in the bottom of the fifth. They now lead it nine to nothing. Every day, kids witness bullying. Why are you stabbing me with it? They want to help, but don't know how. Teach your kids how to be more than a bystander. Visit stopbullying.gov. And welcome back, everyone. Top of the six about to get underway. It'll be Logan Palmer leading it off for the Hillcats. Palmer, one for one so far today. As he had that single in the third. And ball one is dealt in by Rene Solis. Here's the second pitch and a called strike one and one now. And one thing that you usually worry about after your team puts six runs on the board is it's it's sometimes tough for your pitcher to go out there and find his rhythm back but Solis seems to not be struggling with that and I'm I'm sure he'll happily take the six runs as well so one and two the count now for Re Renee against Palmer and that one chopped a mile high Renee back pedals and he's able to make the play a good play on the two hopper and Palmer is retired Center fielder, Alex Cochran. And now here comes Cochran to the plate. Cochran, he's 0 for 2. Cochran, he struck out his last time up. One of Renee's three strikeout victims so far today. And that one off the plate, 1-0.
And that one dealt in there, called strike, one and one. As Solis will be trying to work quickly here and ho off speed and a called strike right there. Beautiful pitch there by Renee. One and two. And that one hit high into the air, but well foul down the right field side. And we'll do one and two once again. Remind you, Rattler fans, uh, beautiful weather coming out to play, finally cooperating. So now would be a great time to get yourself a new t-shirt from rattlergear.com. As that one shot into right field, not heading over to second. And he'll be in there standing. Or I beg your pardon, Cochran, that is, will be in there standing at second. Of course, RattlerGear.com, one of the new providers of all Rattler apparel that you could want. They have hats, t-shirts, shorts, jerseys, a good variety of things that you could want to wear your gold and blue this year. So once again, that's RattlerGear.com. One away, runner on second base. Here's not at the plate. The pitch off speed by Solis and off the plate. One and no. As that one's popped foul. And it'll be one and one. Renee looking to remain unbeaten on the year. He's 2 and 0 so far. Trying to move to a 3 and 0 record, of course. Renee, a quick look to second. Here's the pitch, curveball. Broke a little bit late for him and it was off the plate 2 and 1. Two and one for not off speed, and he swung right through it. So a two-two count now for Renee. And you can really tell Renee is starting to get going when he gets his off-speed stuff going, his secondary stuff. I mean, his fastball is a very nice pitch, but he complements it so well with his secondary stuff. Here's the pitch, and it's boiled and shot foul. We'll do two and two again. Great job by not fighting that one off. Renee looks in for a sign, comes set. Quick check to second, here's the pitch. And that one shot into center field. And holding at third is Cochran, so it'll be runners on the corners for the Hillcats. Catcher, and now Johan Ochoa, the number three hitter for the Hillcats, will come to the plate. The Hillcats, two hits this inning and three on the ball game. So Renee's done a very good job of limiting this high powered offense so far. But if you're a Hillcat fan, you're obviously looking for them to break out this inning. That pitch off the plate, 1 0. Ochoa so far 0 for 2 today as that one's a bit outside as well and it's a 2-0 count now for Johan. So Lee sets, here's the pitch and oh off speed and Johan was fooled. An off balance swing and it's a 2-1 count. So Lisa looked to first, runner bluffing over there, and this one shot down the left field line, but foul. It'll be 2-2 two -two count. So 
So new ball for Renee and a two and two count. And if you're so least, if you get a strikeout here, it's it's really beneficiary. Ochoa, he's probably looking to maybe get a sack fly here along with the base hit. That one in the dirt, it's blocked by Funk and the count goes full. The St. Mary's middle infielders, they're playing a step over to, towards second looking for that double play ball. Here's the pitch. And Ochoa lifts that one well into left center field. It's going to fall for a single. And the Hillcats will plate their first run of the ball game. So Ochoa, the RBI single. And Cochran coming around to score. As now Kohlmeyer will come to the plate. If you're St. Mary's, I think you realize that this Hillcat lineup is very good. They they have five hitters who are hitting above 400 so far on the young gear. Beg your pardon, six hitters who are hitting above 400. But so Lee's still working with an eight-run cushion. So Lee sets. Here's the pitch, and a called strike right there. Kohlmeyer, 0 for 1 today. He's walked and flied out to left. So Lee's come set. Quick look over to first. Here's the pitch. And Kohlmeyer was able to hold up his swing, so it's 1 and 1. Good job by Funk of knocking that one down. You can see Keith back there. He's working very hard today. And when you're having a pitcher like Solis who has so much off-speed stuff, a couple times it gets in the dirt, so you got to be able to knock it down. Solis will look over to second. Here's the pitch. And that one, a little blooper, and it'll fall in at right field. So another single for the Hillcats, and now the bases will be full. Right fielder, Blake Gibson. So it'll be Blake Gibson at the plate with the bases loaded. Gibson so far, he's 0 for 2. Grounded out to short and to the catcher. Bases loaded. Rattlers infield looking as if they're playing for the double play ball. That one out of the zone, 1-0. Oh. Renee, he has his pitch. Fastball on the outside corner, called strike. 1-1. One one. Renee looking in once again for a sign. Still working for that stretch. And bluffing over towards second base is Maldonado, but Renee will just step off the rubber. One and one, still the count with one away. The pitch to Gibson, and it's fouled back. It'll be one and two now. Malters waiting on deck. Hendricks, he's in the hole. One and two, the count. Possibly a big pitch here for Renee. And it's high and outside. Two and two. Seeing if he could get Sid to chase right there. Renee nods yes to his sign. And that one's above the belt. Full count now. Go, 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 go. 
So it's a 3-2 count with one away. Solis comes set. And it's off speed and he walked him in. 9-2 now the score. St. Mary's still in the lead. Second baseman, Nick Malter. But now Malter will come to the plate. And if you're the Rattlers, you have to realize that you still have a second game of a double header here to play. And so it's really tough to try to give any momentum whatsoever back to the Hillcats. So you see Coach Hermes now heading out towards the mound. He'll converse with Funk and Solis. And you may still have a seven run cushion, of course, but it really is about demoralizing the Hillcats to a certain extent, making sure that you stay ahead of them for the second game of this doubleheader. And right now, the Hillcats, they're gaining some momentum back. Base is still loaded. And it'll be Malter at the plate. Malter, he's 0 for 2 today. So Lee's peering in. Has his sign. Here's the pitch. Nice pitch right there for a called strike one. Still only one Hillcat retired so far this inning. It was Palmer who was the leadoff hitter actually. And one and one now the count. Since the leadoff hitter was retired, double, single, 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 and then the walk that plated the second run of the inning. As this one's hit high into the air, but well foul, and it'll be one and two. One, two count. Big pitch for Renee, just to get back in his groove. And it's off the plate, two and two. Two and two, one away. Fastball, that one's tapped over to first. Flip to second is in time, back to first. Oh, and it's thrown away. So a second Hillcat runner will cross the plate. I'm not sure if they called the runner at second out. They did indeed, so there will be two away. I was confused because the runner who was called out at second tried to advance over to third. But now it will be 9-4 to four for the Rattlers. Third baseman, Ryan Hendricks. So Gibson will be first at first off the fielder's choice. Or Malter will be at first off the the fielder's choice. Hendricks. Gibson was uh, called out, I should say. <laughs> and Hendricks will be at the plate. Strike one called there. That pitch, a called strike, strike two. And if you're St. Mary's at this point, you can trade runs for outs, so to say. Renee comes set, 0-2 the count. And that one just off the plate. Hendricks looked like he wanted to offer at it, but he held up. Hendricks so far today, he's 0 for 2. 1 and 2 the count. Here's the pitch. That one hit well into center. Charging on hard and making the diving effort was Garcia, but the ball managed to find the field. And a base hit will be given to Hendricks. And now here comes J.P. Siegfried. 
Seafried, the last Hillcat to come to the plate this inning, they've also managed to bat around. So after the Rattlers bat around, the Hillcats look to do the same and have done it. Seafried, he's 0 for 2. He struck out his last time up. That was to end the fifth inning, which seems forever ago, but was actually just last inning. First pitch in the dirt, 1-0. Renee Hill comes set. So he looks in for his sign. Here's the pitch. And that one just off the plate. 2 0. Hillcat runners on first and second. So all the Rattlers have to do is touch any bag, and that'll end the inning. Solis has his sign. Here's the pitch. And that one hit over to Gonzalez. He'll touch third base, and that'll do it for the inning. But not before the Hillcats strike for four runs of their own. They still trail the Rattlers, however, 9-4. to four. Looking for these? You drive buzzed. It could be one very expensive ride. First, you got to make bail. Then pay me to get your car back. Your insurance premiums will go through the roof. And my legal fees just keep adding up. All told, it could end up costing you $10,000. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Hello and welcome back everyone. Number 30, Matthew Shepard, the new pitcher for the Hillcats. Shepard out of Catoosa, Oklahoma. He'll be making his season debut here today against the Rattlers. And a pinch hitter for the Rattlers to lead off the inning. Be pinch hitting for Corona. As a called strike one right there. Sean Bates will be the pinch hitter for the Rattlers. Bates making his first at bat of the year. And one and one the count to Bates. And that one hit him. So Sean's aboard. But I believe they're going to call him back so he didn't try to get out of the way. So, two and one will be the count for Bates. Sean Bates, should be noted, the younger brother of Brandon Bates. Brandon played the past couple of years with the Rattlers, of course. He led St. Mary's in batting average last year. Now, of course, his little brother Sean on the team. Three and one the count here for Sean. And a big rip in him. Fouled away, and it'll be a full count for Bates.
Shepard comes set. And Bates shoots one hot up the middle. And he'll have his first hit of the year. Now here comes Humple to the plate. And it looks like we'll have a pinch runner here for Sean Bates. Your attention please for the Rattlers, pinch running at first base for Bates. It'll be Evan Kokonos. So Kokonos will pinch run for Bates. First baseman, Nathan Humple. And Humple will be at the plate. We'll check over on Kokonos at first and he'll be back safely. Evan Kokonos, of course, the little brother of M.P. Kokonos, who played one year with St. Mary's, was an outstanding player for them and then was selected by the Houston Astros. That one, a two-hopper, and it'll get through to right field. Kokonos will put on the brakes and stay put at second, and Humple will stand at first with a base hit, his second of the day. Third baseman, Al. Oh, now here comes Al Gonzalez to the plate. As Humple, he's managed to reach base in all four of his plate appearances. Here's how it went for him. Single, hit by pitch, hit by pitch, single. So he's been busy to say the least. <laughs> As time is called. As Ochoa will be uh, talking it over with Shepard, seeing what they want to do with Al here. And as discussion's over, and Al will dig back in. None out, two Rattlers on board. Here's the pitch off the plate, 1 0 for Al. So the Rattlers have been scoring pretty steadily throughout this entire ball game. As that pitch is above the belt, they had one run in each of the bottom of the first three innings, and then nothing in the fourth. And then they had the outburst the last half inning where they put six on the board. That's how they got to their nine. As that pitch catches the inside corner for a called strike. The Hillcats, meanwhile, they had no runs through the first five innings. They actually only had one hit as well. But then in the sixth inning, they exploded for four runs on five hits. As Al looks at another ball, and three and one now the count. Remind you, of course, this game, the first of the double header. The second game will take place about 30 minutes after the conclusion of this first one, we'll be bringing you that game here on the Rattler Network, of course. So the bases are going to be full, and here comes Keith Funk to the plate. Funk looking for his first hit on the day. He's 0 for 2, also has a sacrifice bunt. Last time up, he reached on an air and eventually came around to score a run. Here's the pitch, and it's out of the zone 1 0. Jones waits on deck. Garcia's in the hole. Shepard with the pitch, and that one hit high into the air, but it'll find its way foul down the third base side. One and one the count. Shepard, a new ball in his glove. One one count, infield playing in. That one hit over towards short, and it'll get through. One run will score easily. The second will come in as well as St. Mary's is now in double digits and leads it 11 to four. 
Well, that's the risk you take when you play in on the infield. A hard hit ball can find its way through very quickly. Funk the beneficiary for the Rattlers. Left fielder Scott Jones. As St. Mary's has put yet another two runs up this half inning. Scott Jones now coming to the plate. Jones swings at the first pitch he sees and hits it high into the air. And the catch is made by Hendricks. Jones retired on one pitch. So the first out of the Good inning order, recorded. And now it'll be back to the top of the order with Adrian Garcia. Garcia. He's one for two today. Sacrifice and a walk as well. That pitch out of the zone, 1-0. and Shepard the pitch. Garcia just looking and 2-0 and now for him. Al Gonzalez, he'll lead from second. Keith Funk from first. Here's the pitch. And that one out of the zone as well. So Shepard is behind. 3-0 and now to Garcia. Here's the pitch. And ball four. So Garcia... Just keeps the bat on his shoulder and he'll trot on down to first base. Now here comes Drake Roberts to the plate. And if you're St. Mary's, this is exactly what you want to do in the first game of a doubleheader. You want to make the Hillcats use as many pitchers as you can. That way when the second game rolls around and of course the third game that will be played tomorrow, then the Hillcats don't have full access to all the pitchers that they'd be using. It's so that first pitch above Drake's head. He ducks out of the way. Want to know? Drake, he's one for four. He had that two RBI triple his last time up. Bases full of Rattlers once again. And that one inside. And Drake will play dodgeball for the second straight pitch. Two and oh. Still only one away. Here's the pitch. That one catches the inside corner. I think Drake was taking the whole way there. Two and one now the count. As that's the first pitch thrown for a strike in seven pitches by Shepard. Drake now shoots this one toward third base. Throw to second. And they'll cut down Gonzalez as well as the double play is recorded. So that'll do it for the inning. But not before the Rattlers tack on two more runs of their own. They'll head to the top of the seventh, leading 11-4. NFC, AFC, offensive linemen, defensive tackles, quarterbacks, and cornerbacks are all living united to ensure the academic success of millions of kids in our communities all the way to graduation day. But that won't happen without you. So take the pledge at unitedway.org. Make a difference in the life of a child. Suit up like your favorite NFL players and become a volunteer reader, tutor, or mentor with United Way.
And welcome back everyone, top of the seventh about to get underway. Very quickly, a scoring correction right there for you. The run did indeed score there to end the last half of the inning. So it is 12 to 12 to 4 now for the Rattlers, not 11-4 as previously mentioned. Also now into pitch for the Rattlers is Rick Bia. Rick, he uh, has a 9.0 ERA, 1-0 record. He's appeared in five games so far this year. He also has a save, and he has nine strikeouts in eight innings pitch. Also in at first base, Joe Hermson will be taking over for Humple. One additional change for the Raptors now playing first base, number 17, Joe Hermson. So it'll be Palmer, Cochran, and Knott do up this inning for the Hillcats. They'll have their work cut out for them. They have to produce eight runs this inning. Leading off the seventh for the Hillcats, designated hitter, Logan Palmer. So here comes Logan Palmer. First pitch by Villa out of the zone, a fastball, 1-0. So the night is done for Rene Solis. Rene, he pitched 97 pitches as Villa has that one sky towards center by Palmer. And over to make the catch for the first out is Mario, so one away. Rene, he had three strikeouts in his six inning pitch. And he'll be on line for the win this game. As now Cochran will come up with the top of the order. Cochran, he's one for three today. He doubled his last time up, came around and scored a run. First pitch, a called strike one. Rick Villa, usually one of the first out of the pen for the Rattlers if they aren't using their closer. Here's the pitch. And another called strike, 0-2. Oh As Villa is looking to establish his fastball on that inside corner. Via sets and deals. That one tapped back to him off of a hop. Rick the flip over to first and two away. And the Rattlers one out away from taking this first ball game. And it'll be a pinch hitter for Roger State. Number four, Austin Colwell. It'll be Colwell coming to the plate. Colwell, a 111 hitter so far this year. He's one for nine. First pitch thrown in there by Rick for called strike. Colwell also an RBI. His one hit was a triple, and Rick getting ahead of him quickly. 0 and 2 now the count. Via sets, here's the pitch. And that one off the plate, one and two now. Via working very quickly. And did Colwell offer at it? He says he did, and that'll do it for the game. So three up, three down. Go the Hillcats, and that'll do it for the first ball game of today. The second game will be underway in just about 30 minutes. Once again, it'll be a repeat, the Hillcats against the Rattlers. St. Mary's takes this first one by a score of 12-4. to Rene Solis is the winning pitcher. He moves to 3-0 on the year. Jesse Baird, he's the loser here today. He moves to 2-on-1. The Hillcats, they score four runs off of six hits, commit three errors. St. Mary's, meanwhile, they score 12 runs off of 12 hits and commit two errors. So stay tuned for the second game of our doubleheader. Once again, you've been watching Rattler Baseball on the Rattler Network.